And our next story is from France. It might once again be on track to face the fury of Muslim countries. Why? Because of its decision to ban abayas from schools. You heard that right. France is going to ban abayas from state-run schools very soon. Now, for the unworse, the abaya is a full-length outer garment that is worn by some Muslim women. It covers the head, the face, the body, and sometimes, though not always, the eyes. Now, France has decided to ban it in all its forms. The ban will primarily apply on children in state-run schools. This is what the country's education minister had to say about the decision. Let me quote. I have decided that the abaya could no longer be worn in schools. When you walk into a classroom, you should not be able to identify the pupils' religion just by looking at them. Now the question is, is this move politically motivated? And the answer is both yes and no. Yes, because it comes after months of debate on whether abayas should be allowed in schools. You see, the country's right and far-right groups had been pushing for the ban for quite some time now, and it's only now that the French government has conceded. And that said, France has always enforced a strict ban on religious science and religious education in state schools, and this is why most French schools have no communal prayers, religious assemblies, or Christian crosses on their walls. They operate as neutral spaces where children can learn away from political pressures or religious, or religious leanings. Headscarves are not permitted. Neither are large crosses or Jewish kippahs. But despite this, France's decision has triggered an intense debate. A debate on whether this move is aimed at repressing Muslims in the country. And this debate primarily stems from Emmanuel Macron's recent decisions. You know, his policies on immigration, on the funding of mosques, on the closures of seminaries, also the activities of Islamic clerics. Macron says these moves are aimed at making Islam more aligned with French values. They say banning the hijab or the abaya will lead to more integration. You see, hijabs are a statement of identity. But many Western countries view it as a symbol of parallel societies, as a barrier that increases cultural separation. They believe that if Muslims are settling in their country, they must live like them and look like them, accept their dress code and their culture. And there are also security concerns. When your face is covered, it's difficult to identify you Many French citizens feel that this puts them at risk and they are just not comf comfortable with it. Critics call it Islamophobia. They point at increasing hate crimes against women who wear the hijab or the abaya in public. Attacks that have unfolded all across Europe. In London, Berlin, Paris, Vienna. In all these places, there have been numerous xenophobic attacks on women. They say the latest decision could trigger more such attacks. But here's where things get all the more complicated. You see, for thousands and thousands of Muslim women, the hijab is not a choice. It's forced upon them. It's used to threaten them with divine punishment, sometimes to simply subvert them. Women who don't wear the hijab are banned from holding certain positions. Some women have even been killed for not wearing it. They have been murdered by complete strangers, beaten to death by their own parents, and they've been shot dead by Islamist terrorists. All I'm saying is that in a large part of the world, the hijab and the abaya is a piece of clothing that is being used to apply group pressure, a tool to shackle thousands of women. Have a look at what happened in Iran. In 2017, Iranian women decided to challenge this narrative. They threw off their hijabs. There were unprecedented demonstrations. The Iranian regime carried out a harsh crackdown. Over 40 women were arrested. Hefty fines were imposed. The movement died down. What followed, though, were attacks on women who did not wear the hijab in public. 
have a look at this report now. It's from Indonesia. Just last week, at least 14 Muslim girls at an Indonesian school had their hair partially shaved by their teacher. Why? Because the teacher thought that the girls were wearing the hijab incorrectly. So you wear it, you are attacked. You don't wear it, you are attacked. You oppose it, you, you're called blasphemous. You ban it and you are called Islamophobic. Why can't we just let women be? In this religious, cultural and political war over the hijab, it is the women who are suffering. Take the religious connotation away and the abaya is just a piece of cloth. It is a choice if you don't care much about the repercussions. If a woman feels that her public identity is shaped by it, have a nuanced debate or just let her be. And if she is informed enough and does not want to wear it, then let her be. This is possible but not suitable because from religious clothing to abortions to traveling alone to staying out late at night to even having male friends to choosing their life partners the world thinks it's their business to decide what women should or should not be doing we are now available in your country download the app now get all the updates on the move